welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Okay, have I sold you on where I live yet? Uh, I know that you said one time you got a little corner store like five, ten minutes away from me. Uh, Stuff no, like not five, ten minutes away. I got a corner store like what a a one minute drive. Uh, oh shit! Five minute walk. If if it's five minutes, like that. Mm. Well, I did motherfucking die. Everything's a long fucking way from me, goddammit. My my closest store is at least a, a, a good ten minute drive up the long ass street, and that's going ten minute a ten minute drive going sixty miles now. Nobody asked you to live with a mailbox <laughs> on the same side of the road. Nobody asked you to do that. That was a choice. Yes, they did. My wife asked me to do that. Shit. I'm just I'm just trying to recruit y'all to do something better, you know. Make a different choice. Yeah, oh, we we ain't staying out this bitch. She she gung gung ho on getting getting us out this motherfucker. Gung fucking ho. And I'm looking at all all jobs in Atlanta. So and they said they're gonna move me somewhere. Shoot. That's why I've been um running around trying to work uh work out stuff with my um I got like a mentor at my job to try to get me out that but tell uh, you, move to Atlanta. Move to the outskirts of Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Atlanta right now, you paying out the ass. It's a, right now, it is a seller's market. I believe it. Like if you are if you own property and you want to sell some shit, this is the perfect time to do it. But if you're trying to buy mm-hmm. some, don't buy it in a, in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And if you go to the outskirts, make sure it's like a new development. Because if you go to one that's already established, they charging like, and they they buying houses for like three hundred grand. That started at one hundred grand. So yeah, you know, like we looking at a, a broker right now because our house been tripled in value, and somebody is really desperately trying to buy it. Like they've been barking at us for like two years, and we like, uh, uh-huh. uh-huh. but now they offer starting to make a little more sense. Like, oh, so we can pay off our mortgage and put a significant down payment on a new mortgage and pay off some debt. Hmm. I might be right up our alley. That works. <laughs> like this, yeah. But you go to the that works. new developments because they trying to get people to buy them like now and get in there. So you can find cribs and like the little outskirts. The apartments are still kind of like, <laughs> and most of the outskirt areas got like they own little contained shit where they got like it's like where I live at where you got like a bunch of shit around you. Mm, I'll see what you mean. having to go to the city like you can go to the city if you want for different shit or like more of the I guess trendy or you know like the big events and shit like that or if you work there you know you can commute there but most people now are like living in the outskirts and like driving to the city yeah that, that oh, sounds about yeah. right oh, yeah. I think it's just because the city is where it's at if you can afford it it's just that shit uh-huh. For no reason. You like that video early, Pat? Yeah, that shit was hilarious. That threw me all <laughs> off. <laughs> I was like, what are you about to say? And I was expecting you to say something like words of wisdom or something like that. <laughs> I was like, this nigga talk about ass, she niggas again. <laughs> I guess we know what the niggas give me cotton mouth, man. Ashley. I was like, hello. <laughs> It was, but, but, but what it was was the nah. God, no. I was like, this nigga, that, that. I'm, I'm in here calculating in my mind. How can the ash get him caught now? <laughs> Is it in the air? Ugh. It's take off like ass, right? This has got flakes flying around like he pig pit on the peanuts. <laughs> Charlie Brown and <laughs> shit. Ash in the air? <laughs> Oh, my fucking God. Dude walking around looking like that girl in that one video. 
<laughs> that was doing drugs. That is oh, me. Geez. Oh shit. Mm-mm. Tonight gonna be a good ass conversation because I don't even know what the fuck is on the docket no more. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. I vaguely remember mine. I know it's at the end. <laughs> well, I got the docket pulled up. So Me too. in that case, what's up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. What's that, man? A show with three friends separated by connected by brotherhood, having weekly conversations that you can join in on. And as always, I am one third of the partners. It's your boy Tiz, and I'm along with. It's the other third of the partners, the intergalactic one. Hey, I said it right this time. Yay, me, the Padawan. Yay. And I'm along with. Yeah. Faith. What's that? <laughs> okay. Everybody having a good week out there. <laughs> Y'all good? Yeah, I tapped the platform before yeah. I started. <laughs> we go to the this week. Lean into that. Mm-hmm. We go go Gucci up in this peak. Now, I will say I'm Wait a minute. subject that's kind of serious, but you know, y'all know how we end up doing. We can go anywhere. Um, but I wanted to start off, man, with a thought provoking topic. Um, this was a topic that kind of was broached on somewhere else, and then it kind of just was like, ooh, I think that'll be a good one to bring to the fellas. So, um, I'm going to start with the question, give you the premise, and then I'm going to give you the question again and let y'all just go. So, should mentally ill people or people with mental health issues be held responsible slash accountable for their online action? Now, I'm asking y'all that because I was watching one of my sector shows. You know, I, I still still be dabbing around in the UMA sector, although it's really not even necessarily that because nobody makes anything about UMA. It's kind of just like the sector. Um, mm-hmm. I was watching one of my sector shows. Shout out to LV the Snake Man. Uh, he had this demon infused panel that he does, and it's like all of the fuckery from the uh, from the sector, right? Get brought there, and you kind of hash it out. And, and he he does a really excellent way of you moderates. But anyway, on the panel that he had, they were discussing an incident that had happened on another show's panel. So I don't know what what other panel this was on, but apparently this lady on this other panel had flashed her breast. Now, the sector is known for, like, just roasting on, like, the most serious of topics. So when some shit like this happened, like, the sector did what the sector gonna do, they pretty much roasted the fuck out of her and made Uh. stones talking about the situation. Now, I don't know this lady personally, so I ain't gonna put her shit out there like that, but people from the sector know who she is. And I, I guess, you know what I'm saying, the lady got mad at everybody allegedly, you know, from what I can gather from the conversations from the different chats and whatnot. Uh, I guess she got mad at everybody and left the sector or something like that. And then on LV, the snake man's panel, they were talking about this situation and during that discussion, they brought up the fact that this lady who flashed everybody, that she may not be mentally well. Hmm. So then the discussion kind of moved into like how much accountability or responsibility, like is she really culpable for due to the fact that she allegedly has mental issues. So I just thought that that discussion, like, was just a great discussion. Like, not necessarily the titties, but should mentally ill people or people who have, like, mental health issues be held responsible or accountable for their actions online? We'll see. Oh, I'll let you go, Pat. <laughs> What threw me off is like I started looking at his face's face, and that that's what made me. I was real serious until I started looking at him smiling, yo. And then, all right, but oh, that's kind of hard to say. That seems like a case by case basis to me, because it also depends on the severity of their illness or whatever. But I, I feel like if you got the capacity to get on a computer and get and go on youtube which is very complicated now mind you i had her own channel and she also like would host live streams and stuff so she was and she was like heavily involved in chats from what i hear i I don't personally remember seeing her be like active like that but Mm -hmm. i guess in certain chat rooms she was like very active so what i hear she was pretty like 
at least competent enough to like be in those chat rooms. How much faculty she had when she was there, I don't know because I ain't really experienced any of it. But yeah, that, just for that context, you go. I'm sorry. It's, it's just like, um, yeah, if you got, mind you, I have a job where there's grown people that they've they come up and they have they run businesses and everything don't know nothing about how internet works know nothing about streaming or nothing you know right if you get to a point where you could ask because this is actually complicated like if you really get down to it if you're at a certain age or whatever if you're past like 25 30 you know past 30 now i don't even want to say 30 because 30 is kind of young man so i would say about our age and up or whatever like we wasn't really raised into like the internet world or whatever face you was you was freaking hilarious but we haven't we weren't face really face. raised oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. we wasn't raised into that so like for you to just go out your way to learn all this stuff how many followers do she have I mean, does she have a lot of followers? Or? Part, I don't know. Cause like, again, like, so everything oh. I'm telling you is all hearsay, which is why I made sure, like, the question for me is just like the mentally, like a mentally ill person in general. Like, you can mm. kind of fill in the conversation as you, as it kind of floats in your head. But like, I don't know the latest specifics. I'm just going off of what they alleged. So I'm just thinking of like, so if she is mentally ill or if a person is mentally ill and they are on the internet, but then they do some wild shit. How, how, how much, like what's the, how do you see the accountability scale for them going as opposed to a person I, who is a full uh, sound body and mind? I feel like the internet is survival of the fittest. So if you actually can get up there and actually operate it, you have enough capacity to know that, hey, this might be some crazy shit I'm about to do. It's well, just that your mental mental illness is like your mental Ill, illness have you at a higher rate of doing crazy stuff. But I mean, it's like I don't know. Like, I feel like if it was like a situation where it was a mentally ill person being filmed by somebody else or whatever, I'd be like, all right. Yeah, they I can't really hold them accountable. But when you can operate some of this stuff like. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just I don't know. Maybe I ain't the one to say anything. About it, but. <clears throat> well, shit, I'll be there. I'll be that one. Um, so I'm gonna piggyback on what you said at first, Pat. Now it is subjective when it comes to um mental illness because it is different levels of severity and a different different levels of um what type of mental illness people may have. But when it comes to this magical thing we call the internet, um, like you said, Pat, it's not that easy to get on there and create your own page. Um, it's not a novice thing. You have to have some kind of mental faculty to be able to do that. Now, if you're on that level, you have accountability for your actions because you, you know what you're doing. Now, at the point where your actions become, um, I'm going to say, for the lack of better judgment, uh, strange, I should say, but when your behavior becomes strange or stranger than normal, then once again, as an adult, you're still accountable for your behavior. Um, first and foremost, um, the internet is the wild, wild west. This is just what it is. Um, if it goes down, it goes down on the internet. <laughs> um, and, and then the, you find the internet kind of encouraged that behavior. I mean, the, the internet the encourages the, the internet is Babylon. Um, and that's just what it is. The internet is Babylon, and Babylon. we all—I mean, we all have had bad internet days. We all have had good internet days. Um, and the internet is Babylon, the wild, wild west. For those who don't know what Babylon is, um, uh, y'all can relate to that. And in the wild, wild west, it did not care who you were, who, what you were able to do. Um, 
only thing kept you safe is if you were a child. And in, those, in some cases, you won't say then. But if you are mentally capable of making sound judgments, of putting and recording yourself and uploading videos, why not be yeah, you're accountable for yourself? Um, that's just it. Be accountable. I believe in strong accountability for your actions, um, regardless of age and mental faculties. Um, whatever handicap it may be, be accountable for your actions. The only people who can be accountable for their actions are the people who don't know the difference between right and wrong. And if they're mentally challenged to that state, no, they can't be held accountable. But them motherfuckers ain't on the internet either. You know what? I have a bias. It's it's survival of the fittest. They got to be held accountable, too, because if you can get to the point that you can put a video on and time stuff to make videos for it, I don't care if you just cut, hit and record and just just saying stuff or whatever. And then in my own in my experience. The Internet is and social media is full of people that's just mentally ill in some type of way and they just find some way to express it and then they what they say end up becoming a meme or <clears throat> or some random clickbait topic or whatever I, it's it's you you end up having random debates with some of the most mentally ill people if you hang around social media long enough so i think at this point if you if i hold i don't hold accountability for people for maybe mentally ill people that are not on the internet. But once you get on the internet, it's survival of the fittest, whatever. We're all equal here. This is because you can put whatever I, you want as your picture. People don't even need to know I who you are. That question. I'm, all right, so. I, I equate this question, man. I equate that question to the same thing as do you hold a, a mentally ill person responsible for shooting somebody? Motherfucker knew how to pick that goddamn gun up, crack it back, pull that damn trigger. Hell yeah. Motherfucker knew how to put that email address in, put that motherfucker other address in, put that password in, log in, upload the video. You damn right. You had the mental faculty to do all this stuff. You won't. I'm real ill now. I'm a little ill now. That does happen sometimes. But when you putting shit on the internet, you knew what you were putting on the internet. You knew what you was recording. You may not have wanted people to have the reaction they did, but your actions are your actions. Your actions. One thing us all adults have to do is be more accountable for ourselves and our actions. We don't like to be accountable for our actions at all times. Sometimes we have ridiculous actions we wish we did not do. But at the end of the day, you have to be accountable. At the end of the day, you will always be held accountable. It's just who gonna hold you accountable is the question. Yeah, I, when I first heard this, I, I started off with like a, a SJW approach and was like, oh, that's fucked up. They're taking advantage of the mentally handicapped lady. Mm -hmm. I thought about it. If, if the lady is handicapped or if somebody is mentally disabled, I look at it like if we was like riding down the street or some shit. Like the internet is kind of like a a, a a city or or a cityscape per se. And as you're navigating from chat room to chat room, or window to window, or video to video, or streaming service, streaming service, those are like the little different streets you're going on. And as you're going through there, you might stumble across something that's like, what the fuck? And I look what at the it fuck? like, like sometimes I'm driving through the hood and I might see a person that's on drugs outside that's pretty much in the same type of type of fashion. But now I'm stuck in the traffic light, so I can't even scroll past that. I'm, I'm kind of just stuck like, oh, Lord, please don't come over here asking for no change with your breasts out like that. Your, your page froze. So it's like um, I look oh, at it like oh. on one hand, the person needs more help. Like, if you are at the point where you flash your titties out and all that, something has went wrong. Now, if you just a sound body and mind, then that's a different conversation. Then it's just like, well, you deserve any, whatever comes with whatever you did, you deserve the full onslaught. But if you really was that, like, had some type of mental issue, then I'm looking at it like, as a person with a diagnosis and a, as a person that's a father of a person with a diagnosis, I'm looking like... Something has really went wrong with your support system that you've gotten to that point. Because usually the people around you 
Yeah. Before you get there, they've seen some other things because they know you. That's like, hey, you looking a little off. Let me. What's going on with you? Mm-hmm. Hey, do we need to. Do we need to check in? Do we need to take you back to the dock? Like, what's going <clears throat> on? Like, why are you acting like this all of a sudden? Hey, what's going on? Like, it would have been some people kind of monitoring. Like, hey, let me come stay with you for a couple of days. Make sure you straight. You know, some shit like like usually in a good health. So I'm looking like it's also. Yes, she deserves, I wouldn't say maybe the full onslaught of what the sector did, but at the end of the day, like, when you've been in these, if she was in these sector streets the way they said she was, then she kind of has already seen how people do on some humble. Uh-huh. So, you know what I'm saying? You kind of should know by now, like, hey, I need to, if I ain't doing too well, let me back off these internet streets for a minute, get right and come back. Maybe I need to leave this alone for a second. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when my anxiety be a little too messed up, like, I, I go ahead and take some time off for a second, or I, like, let me get out these chat rooms for a while. To the point where I'll even unsubscribe to some shit for a minute and just come back when I feel like, all right, I'm 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 in a better place where I can, like, deal with whatever happens. Because you just never know. So I definitely think she's... I got a question. But I do think I, I agree with the spectrum kind of look at it, like, there are certain mental issues where, like, no, nah, like, we can't even hold you at fault because, like, you literally mm-hmm. control that shit. Like, you schizophrenic and you wilding out like that. I'm not going to mess with you because, like, that's a different level of some shit other than, like, you just have functioning autism or you got anxiety or you are... Like, your reality is distorted. Like, like, even bipolar yeah. disorder, like, Unless you are extremely like, unless you are like high end to the point where like you heavily medicated and shit, like even with that, like you got some manic moments and also manic like periods, but like at the same time, come on now, you still got some capability. So I, I think it really just depends on what the mental issue is. But overall, if you do something on the internet, it's kind of like doing it in the middle of the street. You can't, I can't really fault somebody else for saying shit or laughing or making jokes because it's like you did that shit in public. It ain't like you did it in your crib and then somebody snuck cameras in there and caught you at a vulnerable moment. Like it's like you kind of was outside wilding. So you beat somebody ass or get your ass whooped. People gonna see something because they saw it. Like it's kind of can't get mad at people for seeing shit that they won't even ask to see. It just you thrust that upon them. You put your mm-hmm. bosom in the air. And they got well, you know, got up and got stuck. You know, I kind of I'll I'll how say I'll argue that putting the pulling your titty out in public might be a lot better than pulling it out on the internet. Cause when it's on the internet, it's forever. When it's just out in the public, unless somebody else is recording it, that's just that moment. You know what I'm saying? So here's a question. Thing. These days, you got a camera <clears throat> and you got security <clears throat> cameras on all the light poles. Damn kidding. You got cameras in dash on dashboards in cars. You got cameras on mm-hmm. the outside of buildings. Like cameras are literally there. there. So at this point, you got to assume that whatever you do outside of your personal. Somebody going to see them titties. Your shit is out there. <laughs> Like, you can't, it's to the point, like, back in the day when we was growing up, like, if you was a dude and you come out the club and you got a piss real bad, you can just go beside a building real quick, whip it out, let it loose, go on back about your business. Nobody to be the wiser. These days, you do that shit, it's like three camera angles of your Johnson just swinging in the breeze as you draw your name on the side of this building. And then you get a ticket for it, too. Like on the internet, you know thing, like the like the, like it's different now, man. Like it's a different time with like the way shit is captured. Like everything is out there. Like when I step out the house, it's so yeah, cool. man, I'm we living like, in demolition man times. Recording, like so, yeah. I, I think three things. Yes, you held up accountable. It does kind of flow on the spectrum, but no matter what you do, if you're not in your own personal shit. Assume somebody watching and recording and you're going to have mm-hmm. your shit out there. And whatever you're doing, be okay with that because just know that it's happening. It's, oh, it's there. 
everybody got a video of them just walking down the street somewhere for no reason. The video ain't got no purpose, but you just walking down the street on somebody's video camera somewhere. Did they provoke her to pull the titty out, or did she just like, here that I am, true. woman, hear me roar? From what I can understand, there was some type of conversation before, but nobody asked her to do that. From what I can understand. Again, this is all speculation and hearsay because I'm getting this third party. But from what I can mm-hmm. understand, it was more of she was like trying to push up on some dude or some dude. It wasn't going well. And then at some point, something escalated in that to her doing that. I'm not sure what the escalated quickly was or like what the catalyst for like Titty Gate was. But at some point, Mighty Gras. allegedly, titties were shown, tears were shed. And you know, <laughs> no. I get those titties too dumb down. Titties and tears. Like say I'm like say. All right, so say like I'm really like in a crazy mental health place. Like say I got some type of crazy diagnosis, some shit where I can't control myself at all as far as like my actions and shit. <clears throat> And then I'm on here wilding, right? And somebody screenshot that shit, and that shit go viral. Like, I, I kind of sympathetic. Like, oh man, if that was me, man, I want people to like, you know, understand. Mm-hmm. I, it won't my best self, you know. Hey, but on the other hand, it's like, I ain't yeah, really see, to get their jokes off. Like, I kind of know that. Shit. Like, if I do something right now on here, stupid. No matter what my circumstance, people gonna laugh. See, that's that's the way I feel. Like I'm like, I wanna I wanna give grace to the situation, but I'm like, if I do something stupid, I'm getting sacrificed. Kind of like uh faces right now to the smoke gods. <laughs> breathe, nigga, breathe, breathe. <laughs> It's so strong, it got him to pause. There you go. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> well, yeah, man. Uh, I think I think the partner's consensus is pretty much, yeah, you would still get held accountable. But uh, just know, man, watch your shit out here. Because you got people like Face just looking, waiting. Catch you slipping with your titties out. <laughs> <laughs> with that same face. <laughs> With the face disclaimer. Nipple slip. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, man, that's all I have for that one, man. I, I appreciate y'all in doing You sure it wasn't? Uh, you sure it wasn't a side boob? No, it was a full. T- <laughs> no, I, I don't. See, that's you keep asking me. Like, I don't have no more details on what I've given you. Like, and the, and the details I've given you are third party. So, uh, allegedly, on everything. Pulling your goddamn titty on the internet. Now, yeah, what the hell? Now, now, now. Hey, man, now I think. Mm. I'm, 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 I'm just joking around. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just joking around because it is silly boo. Because you know what's about to happen next anyway. Because you, you started it off with some fucking with this topic. Hey, man. So we might as well just go through with it. <laughs> What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What episode is it? 75. 75. That's three fourths to 100%. Good in the correct. Episode three fourths to 100%. 75. We won here. We won here. I don't even know what the fuck that means. We won here. I'm, sh- I'm shutting up. Go ahead, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? One quarter of a way to a hundred. We won here. Mm. We don't. Mm-hmm. Get it. Get it. Let's get to the get it. Get it. Well, Let's you know what? It. I might as well segue like just just like this from from titties <laughs> to <laughs> titties to titty milk to replacing titty milk and yeah, milk. 
Tropicana says they're going to release a cereal just for orange juice. And I say blasphemy. Who, who's been doing orange juice and cereal all these years? And be like, oh, people looking for this. You know, you know what? That person, they were going through a uh, hard time as your favorite wrestler. Like this, but, <clears throat> like, no, it's a marketing, it's a marketing employer. They're trying to get more different, a different type of people to buy orange juice. Cause if you can put it with, um, if you could put it with cereal, it's like some motherfuckers who don't just normally drink this shit. They drink it milk. We try to take them for the milk game out this motherfucker. Come on. Man, you know what different people they trying to attract? Black people, because they got a black hand with with a <laughs> with a bottle of orange juice pouring it into the cereal. Stuff. Yeah. It's gonna have Popeyes to be lady. It's gonna have to be a, a, it can, a it can't be no regular type of flavor cereal. It's gonna be something that only mixes with the trap of can. It's gonna like uh you gonna have to be a unique flavor that the mix gives gives. Now I, yeah. I like orange juice. I'm drinking orange juice right now. But notice, mine says pulp free. And the only people that would eat that type of cereal like pulp, high pulp, in their orange juice. That's the only way. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's just going to taste like high pulp, pulp orange juice. juice. I, I don't pulp drinking, motherfucker. I don't care what type of juice it is. I don't, I don't want to, like, I don't even like lemonade with pulp. Like, I don't want to taste no, like, fruit flakes. <laughs> loops, yes. For fruit flakes, <laughs> no. fruit I no juice. Not no goddamn fruit flakes. Not in my drink. I don't, like, I don't like drinking and chewing at the same time. <clears throat> it's like the hell cream. no. It feel like somebody done put some food in there or something like somebody to spit in my shit. Yeah, that's how I feel you about pulp. Like, like fuck you, tree. Why the fuck you contaminate my shit? I told you, give me your backwash. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't like my cereal getting soggy either. That's some nasty shit. Like, like, like fruit seaweed in your cup, just tree backwash. Yeah, uh. backwash. That's what it is. Big like, I fire that fire that marketing scheme. Please do. Whoever thought of that? Trop- Tropicana, you can cancel that shit. <clears throat> ain't, nobody, ain't nobody checking for that. Nobody. <clears throat> Not at all. Anyway, we simply orange around here anyway. Simply freaking orange. Let me stop. Give me some sunny D. <clears throat> they, they ain't paying me anyway. <laughs> but we will take a brand deal if you want to, you know, swing that shit their way, simply orange. Or simply whatever, pulp free, of course. Right. Or or whatever, you know. As long as it don't um, it, it agrees with my moral values. <laughs> hey, look here, man. As long as it don't put me or my family in danger. Exactly. You know, send me the offer. I'll read it. Exactly, because we are people that care about our family, and we we do not want them in danger. Unlike. This mother in Florida who left a three-year-old sleeping on the sidewalk sh- while she was in a nightclub. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. She left the mm-hmm. baby on the sidewalk or like the baby ended up on the <clears throat> sidewalk from where it was at? You a Florida mother just was like, hey, sit right here for a minute and just was like, all right, let me go get my groove on for a couple mm-hmm. hours. Yep, for for over an hour as a toddler slept on a sidewalk and her two or other kids were home alone. Authority said. Shyla Heidelberg, 25, was arrested Saturday after one of her children, a three-year-old, was discovered 1 a.m. wrapped in a blanket while sleeping on a sidewalk outside of an apartment complex in Fort Walton Beach. Uh, according to Akalusa county sheriff's office. She should be sentenced to a smacking squad. That motherfucking name of that county should be sent to Akalusa. Yes. Line her up with a bunch of people that smacking champions and just let them all smack the shit out. What the hell is wrong with people these days, man? Thick ass world. 
That's crazy. For artists it ain't shit. I, I guess for artists it really don't mean shit to people these days. Well, you and your boogie on me more than your kid, more than your baby. You don't doing shit to some kids, much less your own children, yo. Like, what? Yo. On the side. W- what in this- your brain, in your rabbit-ass mind was like, this is a great idea. The the streets are wild. Drugs. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the sad thing about this is, like, I feel like I've heard this story before. Like, like that's the sad thing about it. Like I feel like this has happened before, or some similar, like that. Like leave them in the car, or leave them at home by themselves, and they wander outside. But like to leave them just straight on the sidewalk, like that's a whole new level of low. That's mm-hmm. a, like that is yep. low. Oh, oh, oh. Like anybody oh, looking for a, 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 a executioner, you know, I'm I'm ready for that. Mm-mm-mm. That's fucked. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. That, that heifer need to be locked up, man. You, man. Locked up, pool. Ooh, Jesus. People. Everybody don't need babies, man. Everybody don't need kids. Nope. Yeah. That's what I've been saying, y'all. We, we don't need any more humans. <laughs> we don't. And some people don't need to happen. This is ridiculous. But um, found this up. It's actually been a slow news week. Not as much fuckery, but there's enough fuckery for these last few. But whenever it's a slow news week, I can always count on Florida. You can literally Google Florida at any time of the week, and you will find something within the hour. For yeah. example, I'm going to do it right now. Florida man. <laughs> Eight hours ago. Florida man hits 180 miles per hour during a historic police chase. That was eight hours ago. <laughs> what was he driving? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, it was a Ford GT. It was a, and it, he crashed it. It was a Florida man crashes a 700, $706,000 Ford GT supercar into a palm tree. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Cat- 706,000? Mm-hmm. Damn. Catfish <laughs> incident led to Panama City Beach shooting. A catfish incident. Okay. Yeah, like I said, man, whenever you need to, like, whenever it's a slow news week, uh, I go to Florida. Not literally. Mm. But I <laughs> hope not. Seven hundred six thousand. Damn the crash! I'm thinking about that. That's not a place I enjoy traveling to. Yeah. Oh my. Florida is crazy, and not only Florida is crazy. Uh, some of our celebrities are crazy, and it has gotten the attention of other crazies. They're ex- experts at their crazy. Um, remember last week when I talked about Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly like drinking yes. each other's blood? Yeah, yes. mm-hmm. vampire. Drinking the blood. Mm-hmm. Um, and an expert in the empirical variety have weighed in on recent blood bearing headlines about Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. These people who are natural that that there are vampires, so to speak, Man. are like. They giving them advice not like like the mystical creature but there's like the ones that be like people yeah. yeah they like they do like um it's like a it's kind of like their own little lgbt or whatever they're vampire people or whatever they into doing vampirism when they drink blood and stuff like that and yeah yeah uh-huh. Okay. Input from New Orleans Vampire Association, Nova. <laughs> New Orleans Vampire Association co-founder. Check this dude's name. Belfazar Ashanti son. <laughs> Belfazar B-E-L-F-A-Z-A-A-R. Belfazar. 
Ashanti oh, spelled just yeah. like it. Ashanti, like the the singer Ashanti. Baby, so, baby, 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 baby. Yeah. This dude oh, sounds oh. like a super villain. Baby. He sounds oh. like a super villain. <laughs> oh man. Nova is a nonprofit organization made up of self-identifying vampires. While the endless night vampire ball is known for its widely acclaimed New Orleans event. I'm a vampire now, y'all. That's how you identify as? Sure. No, actually. What's your pronoun? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tree. What's your pronoun? Just tree? It. Oh, it. Cool. Uh-huh. I'm a trans gotcha. billionaire. You are what? Trans billionaire. I'm trans fat. So you Inside, I feel like a billionaire. Okay. <laughs> of okay. I, I had a different thought. I was like, so you're going to be a fat nah. woman or a rich woman? I, I was like, what? All right. Uh, okay. I'm trans fat. It's going to change the dynamic no. show, but it'll definitely give us some shit to talk about. I do if I was a fat person. No, no, no. It ain't going that way. <laughs> no, no, no. I feel like oh, if, um, oh, if I identify as that, you know, sooner or later, just people will start pitching in in the movement. Well, <laughs> that that is a possibility. So we close to that. We vampires, y'all. We, we drink blood. We going to the midnight bar and we're going to crash it and take the footage. I just hope it ain't no black guy in a trench coat with some swords on his back. <laughs> oh, if it is, creeping it around is not a vampire. I'm not a vampire, sir. I'm yeah. just here on a recognizance mission. I'm here to just do research. This is for a documentary we filming. Please don't uh, chop me up. Chop it, chop it. Ain't mm-hmm. time to be fighting no fucking day walkers and shit. And make sure you subscribe to the day podcast. <laughs> sir, I, sir, I got to go to work. I ain't got time for this. You can keep your sword, sir. You can go ahead and get that guy over there. He looks like he's ready to be chopped up. I'm going home. Well, well. Uh, uh, Blade, Mahershala or Wesley. You know what? You know. I'm going to take this time to use Blade and Chopped Up as a segue to the next one. All right. <laughs> Man who lost penis has a new one that was built on arm six years ago and surgically had it moved to his groin. Man who lost penis did what with the who and the arm? This man who lost his penis. Has uh basically got some kind of surgery surgery <laughs> to grow a new one on off his arm. For six years, Hold on. and then had it surgically moved to the cross. His arm got. He has a dick on. Uh, his thing, arm has a dick. Hanging off on it. Yeah, it well at what like for six years. <laughs> yes, he pissed out his arm like 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 <laughs> imagine like Spider Man. <laughs> so he had to be like, "Come here, girl." Uh, 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 uh. They can fist yeah. into a whole nother yeah. level. Yeah. 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 From the back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All you got to do is lift weights. <laughs> he can please the lady. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Nigga at the gym. Oh, it. man. Nothing but butterflies. Oh. They're like, why? That's all you do. Oh man, you don't know. That's how I be pleasing the right. ladies. Wang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Malcolm McDonald, British man. Eminem. <laughs> Malcolm McDonald, British man who lost his penis due to a blood infection. Yeah. yeah. It had a new one built on his arm. He says he feels like a real man again. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Got, a, got, a, got a question. 
I got, I got a question for that one. Okay. No homo. Pause and all that before I even go into this question. Okay. I should have said all that before the, the topic. Okay. Now, he has a flaccid dangly on his arm, right? Now, he goes to the restaurant and it's cold. Inside the restaurant, the woman, he takes his jacket off and the thing just pops out. He's just sitting like this with his with his arm and his thing hanging over the back of the chair. That that's just how he that's that's just how it was. Just could he do that? Oh shit. <laughs> that's how that nigga was. This my question. Sir, what's up, mm-hmm. sir? Like an old school cop with the uh Billy Club, like <laughs> I'm pretty sh- I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he added some <laughs> some features to that. <laughs> I don't think that was the original. What you think he put a hand on? <laughs> no, man, I'm I'm oh <laughs> No nah, man, you I'm invest anemone. You invest money into a new attachment. <clears throat> You're investing money you into a new, new attachment. Dick. You can get a new dick. You can get any dick you want. You gonna Are pick you gonna, a better dick than you had. You, you gonna, gonna come back with the same twenty two? Once, 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 once again, pause. Pause on this whole conversation. Please. Pause. The whole dick conversation. I'm not comfortable talking about this dick shit live. You know, I ain't talking about this shit over there. But since Pat brought it up, <laughs> since Pat brought the dicks up, you feel me? <laughs> he brought it up. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> 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 the New York Post brought this. <laughs> I bring none of that shit. I'm gonna get the conversation with him. <laughs> yo, oh my god. Yo, what the fuck? I know it's the day of fuckery, but now <laughs> I I I might have to I don't know how to do this. I don't know how Charlemagne and them do it, but it gotta be a way for me to put this out. Dick talk <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um Oh shit! So oh, if I the features on my shit, I definitely have hydraulics. So as I come into the room, that should be like boom, 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 and then I have like LED lights under it, and then it'll have like lasers on the side that fill up the room like a laser show on the way in. And then yeah, I just have adjustable speed. Like, uh, yeah. color, like along the along the top of it, so when you inside, you can see the lights light up, and it's like a light show in there. <laughs> the simple it. fact that you got lights in the background is oh, making yeah. it believable. Pause. Be I will put power up, but I, I'm looking like I don't want no fire in my shit. This dude, and then Face talking about he gonna have adjustable speeds like Turtle mm-hmm. Rabbit Shiatsu. <laughs> yeah, that way I ain't gotta put too much in my back. I ain't gotta put too much press my back, man. So you get them thrust, your lower back. You gotta you gotta get them thrust with your lower back or your hips. You feel me? If I got adjustable speeds already, I added too much shit. I got a button. I can just stand there. Who would who 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 wouldn't do that? If you could choose, adjust with me. But you know what I would like? I like for like me to be in my wife, and me to be able to have it just start spinning around like this, like a like a RC. Yeah, do, 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 like, do the do the do the PD Pablo. Do the PD Pablo in that time. Shut off and twist it around your head. Yeah, yeah. I so y'all, my, y'all know I'm a futurist, right? Take your shirt off and twist it <laughs> So you know I'm a futurist, right? So what I was thinking, what I was thinking, I would be mm-hmm. the first ever smart dick. Pause. It it has autopilot and it learns. 
it learns with each time, with each That's experience. how you mess around with a with a joint that fuck around and strangle you in your sleep because they want to kill all him. Okay. That shit gonna learn. Okay. <laughs> but, okay, this is my thing. The world's going to end from that one dick. What if? What if? What if? Okay, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, I'm a piggyback on that one with you since you brought up this type of dick, Pat. Hey, <laughs> he bringing the shit up, bro. He talking about the shit. <laughs> he talking about the shit. I, I ain't bringing shit up in here. <laughs> so, okay, it, it, you say you get the smart dick and it learns for every time. What if you never get no pussy? Would you have a dumb dick then? <laughs> It's the way you. It's the way you. <laughs> hey man, I sir. Man, I need you to call right there. Like, you can't speak face language right there. You gotta speak uh, language. <laughs> the way you just keep throwing this shit. I, I don't even know how to say this sentence, but the way you keep, the way you keep, the way you keep, just the wording that you're using is not conducive to an already fucked up conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he just keep talking about this. Day. Come on, bro. Oh, why are you so forceful, man? You gotta be gentle. <laughs> See? See, man, you will scare all the ladies away, man. You getting all rough like that, man. So what happened to Cosby and I'll sell it. Wine stink. Oh, my God. Uh, Sex, sexy toy lady is going to enjoy this conversation. I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God. But I'm going to do all of the features we talked about. <laughs> I know exactly yeah, what right, Pat Warren talked about. I got it right, right now. now. Shit. God damn it, man. What the fuck? Amazon will overnight it. <laughs> what did we get here? We oh, didn't have some man. dumb ass conversation, but how did we end up? <laughs> back to the fuckery, man? Back to the fuck. <laughs> that was that's how we got here. That's what he got here. Oh, but um, to answer your question, um, arrogantly. Uh, what was based, the question? <laughs> the question is if 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 you got a if you pause if you got a smart dick and you never get pussy, do you just got a dumb dick? I'm gonna answer that question by arrogantly saying. I can't answer that question. I'm sorry, Tiz. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> All right, so we're gonna end. No, just can't answer that question. <laughs> I had a mean setup with the worst, with no punchline. Just set up, just went right to the next line. Like fuck the punchline. I got that Beretta, and every time I get that cheddar, you know I like. Uh, sometimes when you go to the store. Then I want some more. <laughs> it's like, oh, it was if I say extra, too like, much, it'd be too much. Everything, like, you know, you face, and then nothing happened. There was no punchline. There was no, that's what was. We just, I, all right. I can't answer that question. He's <laughs> not to say arrogantly. Oh, run to the one yard, one yard line and don't score the touchdown, ass nigga. <laughs> set up, set up, set up. Nothing. Oh, anyway. Um, <laughs> Filler ball. And more. To end the fuckery off, um, there was a leak from the Supreme Court <clears throat> pause about their final decision on, well, it, they say it's not going to be their final decision. <laughs> that was good. I ain't even catch that one that time. Boy, you good. You good. <laughs> I, I, damn, I ain't even catch yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what you did there, man. You you slipped, you slid one in there. <laughs> yo, why are we this old actor like this, yo? This don't make no fucking sense.
Because it's hilarious. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. It's entertaining to me. (laughs) (laughs) It's all right. I'm going to do it for the next thing you say to it. Oh, man. But yeah, yeah, the Supreme Court had a leak about their opinions on the um, on an abortion case um, pretty much and immediately people started to protest the day of an abortion case yo the entendres here like we can't leave a conversation like we just had and then go straight into this hold, hold on give me a second <laughs> like come on bro the supreme court had a leak and then you know they started talking about <laughs> I bet they did after the leak Nigga should have used them better condoms. Nigga used them Durexes. The little cheap shit they be having in the, in the restroom. That's why your ass fucked up now. See? Just went to the store, bought you a trophy. <laughs> some they got a quality name, some, uh, you know, uh, 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 some type of gar- uh, quality assurance program or something, you know, something that you, you, you know, a name you can trust. Trust the brand. Trust the name. Born off of them damn. Fake ass condoms from Mexico. Go to Mexico <laughs> one time and see the condoms that you find. Got that lamb skin. Boy, lamb skin tougher than that them shit. I would never. I would never. Soon I don't as know, it's some... <laughs> like soon as. Like <laughs> okay, hold on. All right. <laughs> like plan on going Bad to account call raw dog. <laughs> like you gonna have to like keep switching them out like. It's ridiculous. They, but, but they serve the purpose. But yo, if it's a pack of three, you use up, all three. You end up there. You end up there, face. Like very quickly, like upon insertion. Oh, oh, hey, we all up in this thing. God damn it. Okay. All right, we're gonna try again. Oh, that's another one. All right. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> He was actually talking about something serious. I know, but I don't think I can even talk about this. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't I don't want to talk about it because I feel like I'm silly right now. I'm gonna offend Stop somebody. Stop being if we do, oh the fuck well. Somebody always offended by some these days. You know, ain't nobody gonna say shit perfect. You could say hollabaloo and somebody how dare they say hollabaloo. Because the fuck. Baloo is one of my favorite cartoon characters on Tailspin. That was my shit, bro. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. That but, dark, um, that shit, Darkwing Duck, uh, Rescue Rangers. Those were my niggas. They were supposed to have a movie with that coming up. See, y'all know what's shit called David, David the Gnome? Yeah. David the Gnome. I remember David no, the Gnome. He was right around on the yeah. box. Denver, the last dinosaur. He's my that. friend and a whole lot more. Denver, the last dinosaur. Shows me a world I never saw before. I think I saw somebody like recreate Denver's shoes that he used to wear and and sold them like, or whatever. I don't know. I was on a sneaker site or whatever. It, it was a real cool site. I remember the dinosaur show they used to come on after Denver though. And it was like they were half robot or some shit. Um, or like is it Cadillacs and dinosaurs or dino saucers? Something, but they it was were, so many dinos. They had I think it was dino saucers. Shit on. You know, shit, Wildcats. Oh hell! Yes, man. yes, that was that was my yeah, shit. Fire as fuck. Me, me and Sean, me and Sean used to watch that joke. My shit was a uh, what was the Silver Hawks? That was, that might oh, be yeah. in the eighties, people, but that was like and they had these toys. Then all of them had wings that when you squeeze the legs on the joint, the the wings were like, and it was like you know. Back then, you know, the action figures, if they did anything more than move their arm or their leg, you was like, oh, my shit is fine. Your shit weak. Don't oh, man, the action figures now, yo. Weak, bitch. Fly, nigga. 
And then, you know, they wouldn't last but like a week because, you know, as all kids do, you end up tying some thread around them, trying to make them fly across the room for real, or you rig them up on some and they end up on top of the roof, or you throw them trying to make them fly for real and they braid. Like, it was always something, you know, action figures ain't really last a long time unless you was one of them kids that <clears throat> was really, like, kind of lame. But if you was a kid that really played, your action figure had, like, a good maybe the war maybe story. month. Wolverine had if, one if, arm. If it, if it was your favorite, it might last like a good year. Like if it was like your favorite <laughs> toy. Because then you want to take it to your friend's house and show it all. And then, you know, if y'all play action figures or wrestling or some shit with the men, then you was like, yo, oh, oh, I'll make sure this my guy. Because, you know, he got, the, he, got the, he got the wings. You know, everybody else ain't got the wings. Everybody else got them all the legs. You know, so, so like you be feeling special with your shit. You know, action figures was a, was a status symbol back in the day. Like, I remember when Ninja Turtles yeah. came out, like, if you had just the Ninja Turtles, yes. it was cool. But if you had, like, the random characters, like, what was the rabbit's name from, uh, like, uh, Ninja Turtles 3 or something back then? Uh, like a samurai. Usagi Ujimbo. Yes. Ujimbo. Like, like, you had people like that. You know, I, had, I had a you stuff. Know you fuck around, had it, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, goddamn, the, the Terra Dome, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, all that kind I'm, of you get, I never had the tarot dome. I had the, and shit. I had the yeah, sewer playset. Uh, you have Casey Jones. Had, you know what I'm saying? You you had a, the, the, the cool characters. You you kind of was the shit. Mm-hmm. I remember I my had was even the shit, and she was and because she, she used to come through with the April O'Neil, and she was like the only person that ever had the April O'Neil that I knew. Yep. So she was like, yeah. we did like, well, shit, we do need April for this shit. Come on, April, shit. We got everybody else better. Come Rock City, on. Bebop. So you know it gave the only thing I had was praying in the tarot dome. Like like action figures with some shit, man. Fucking play play uh goddamn Transformers. You had to have oh if you had Decepticons, you had to have the cool one. Couldn't come with no wait fucking weak ass Autobot like Bumblebee. You always had to have like you know somebody else. One of the cool jobs. Y'all have and had like yeah, 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 somebody. You know the, oh, y'all ever seen the Ninja Turtles pizza throw a tank? You ever seen that? Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. And the turtle van. <clears throat> yo. I mean the new Yo, one. I remember mm-hmm. we took off the pizza throw a tank part off and we just used it as a weapon with water guns and everything <laughs> in the neighborhood. I was just hitting yo, people with the pizza throw a tank. Talk. I don't know what the <laughs> <you're doing. laughs> Why are we doing action figures? Oh, little toys called Battle Beast, and they they were like maybe two inches tall. They were like really small little, and they were like animals. They could be like a horse or a bear or a tiger or whatever. And they would have mm-hmm. like little holograms, and you rub them with your thumb, and it would tell you like what, I guess, affiliation they had. And they and they had, I think I remember that. They had like these little. Sets that were similar to like the Terra Dome and like all the little action figure play sets, but like it would be like these worlds where you can lock people up in these little jails and they have slides that you can slide on that shit. They had little cars, like I remember it was a whole thing, but I haven't seen them toys since then. I don't know if they were called Battle Beasts. I might be fucking it up. But do y'all did y'all ever have those? I, I, I remember the ones that I had no shoes. I remember I had like a giraffe and a horse. And I had like a tiger and a bear, and I had like this little place set that had like the little jail that you could put. Like, I guess you locked the bad guys up from the battle beast. And, and it was like this little tech tech set. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know I think um, like five years from four through seven. I remember them damn toys, man. I, to, I promise you, they used to take the stickers off because they was like the trans. <laughs> You know how I used to wear the Transformer stickers and they'll tell you like it was an Autobot or Decepticon. I used to like the Battle Beast had stickers like that on. So I used to take all of those stickers and I would like put them on like my uh like composition books and like my little spiral notebooks and shit, my trapper keepers and shit. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> okay, all. That was my shit. <laughs> oh man. No, nah, I remember all that shit. I'm gonna bring up the Ghostbusters uh, t- uh, action figure line for a second myself. 
Before we go into case topic, I would have rather y'all niggas had to just hit me with the. Silence, man. The silence just, I'm just sitting there. <laughs> y'all remember this shit? Y'all remember this shit? I'm still trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Do that offline. Uh, I get it offline. <laughs> Let me know, niggas. Give me some tea, man. That's a view of somewhere in Wisconsin. Like, they got quiet. Did they? Did they fall off? Why did they get quiet real quick? They were like, oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> so y'all did me on the live the other night. They're talking, introducing people and shit. Y'all niggas just pat just in there looking at me grinning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, talking about, yeah, I'm I hear sorry. you. I hear you. Hey, nobody's saying nothing back, though. I'm just in there. Okay. And I'm along with it. God, God. Come on, God. I, thought, I thought I thought face was gonna say something <laughs> or whatever. I know we're gonna start it all over. <laughs> I I ain't never been I ain't never hung out with you, but I tell you them moments I know what the hell feel like walk would it feel like to walk a plank. Well that's a, you gotta be out there, boy. God damn. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Oh my and that's God! The <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh, that, that was a very yeah. different good as fuck. <laughs> very different. <laughs> before we go any further, yo. Before we go any further, yo. It's a new. I don't know if it's new. Oh, well, but I just stumbled upon a movie on Netflix. The shit called The Gentleman. It's a Guy Ritchie film. Check that shit out, yo. That shit good. It's a good ass movie. I fuck, I fuck with Guy Ritchie as a motherfucking um, director, yo. Fucking That's cool. Madonna, and, and good. Hmm? That's Madonna, old husband, ain't it? I, think so. I don't be getting you know. I don't be knowing that shit. <clears throat> I know she used to fuck with Rodman. Yeah. Used to fuck with everybody. Um, a lot of people, man. You just tried to kiss. I think, yeah, I think she tried to kiss Drake or some shit. Yeah, she she done. Um, she got some ass shots and then um put a picture online and then she tried to like do she stuff. Like, yeah. Like, come on, man. You you do it. No, she got to be older than that. Cause she was like seventeen, eighteen when we was like yeah. four. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, that'd be like sixty something. Damn, yo, you told me. And I don't mean that in the ageist way. I just mean like you need to be, you need to know better. Act age appropriate. Ain't nobody trying to see that. Do song. age I'm appropriate like, thing. Ain't She's sixty three, <laughs> and she's a Leo. Yeah, thing popping it out here. Don't nobody want to. No yeah, guy God Richie God. was. Was one of her. Um, Don't nobody want no dusty. Okay. And Sean Penn? Wow. Don't nobody want no dusty. I say, don't nobody, don't, don't nobody, don't, don't nobody want no dust. I don't, nobody want no dust. I don't, 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 nobody want no dust. The dust is cool. No, no, no. Wash it. Vacuum. Wash it. Vacuum. Am I up? Is it my segment? Is it me? It's me. It's me, cool. So, okay. We're going to go a little serious. Well, a little bit. Um, I've been watching a lot of different shit on the internet. Um, just chilling, watching different conversations. 
And um, one thing that's becoming constant that I'm seeing in the in the, 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 con, the the content that I'm absorbing is the conversation about um the youth and the violence that's going on and just um the subculture of it, you feel me? And um a conversation that came up that I was privy to that I was gonna bring to our platform is the difference between being a gangster and being a thug and if these youngins that's doing these things know the difference and it may be a different definition of different, different, different difference to each person, maybe, uh, maybe a generalized thing, but I just want to bring that conversation here and just bring, just talk about just the, the, how can I say it? Uh, and not a non safe talk. So everybody understand what I'm trying to say. Um, no, just you, bring you, to the forefront the, you feel me? This is bringing forward to the forefront the conversation of the bullshit and this violence, the, the senseless violence nowadays. Because at one point in time, violence had a sense. Violence is never the answer, but it 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 was a means to a situation. But it seems like now it's for no reason, and people are, doing, are getting in situations or putting themselves in situations to have. Um, certain clout. It, clout's a big word nowadays, so I'll use that. Um, people are doing things and joining organizations, organizations just for clout and putting themselves in situations that comes with that. Um, but a lot of them are seeking a title of being a gangster or I'm a gangster, I'm a gangster. I don't really think they know what real gangsters are and, and what it means to be a, a actual gangster. Um for me, a gangster is like a, a, a different level of that shit y'all doing. A gangster is a, a a level in a criminal enterprise. A gangster is organization. A gangster is um is is it's just that. You feel me? It ain't just randomness. It's calculus. It, it's calculated. A gangster is more than just that bullshit. If you're looking at gangsters, look at your, your classic gangsters, your, your Al Capones, your, um, your, your Nicky Barnes on, on a black scale. You feel me? Um, but now I think we're dealing with more of the young people who are seeing these thugs who they grew up under and idolized and thinking that's what a gangster is and aspiring to be that, even though a gangster ain't nothing to, to aspire to be. You feel me? I just don't like the, the the state of the subculture and what our children are going to eventually grow up into. You feel me? Like that that this bullshit in America, this bullshit worldwide. Because like what I'm saying, it's not just an American thing. It's, it's in Europe. Or it, it's in different sec different sectors in Africa. Just the, this, the subculture of bullshit with these killings in this age group. You feel me? And what y'all think? What y'all think, man? Um. I, I guess on the, I guess to start at the beginning, uh, on the thugs versus gangster thing, I mean, you can definitely just that like gangsters, you have to first of all be in some form of a gang, whether that be organized crime and some um, on the more mob type level, whether that be uh, on the street level, like you know Aryan Nation, Bloods, Crips, you know GD, like all of that, like. I think it depends. Like, that's what makes you a gangster, first and foremost. Like, you have to be a gang member that does gang shit, and then you're a gangster. I think with the thug thing, I think that that can be taken two ways, because you can look at it in the Tupac way of, like, you know what I'm saying, the hurt you gave, you know what I'm saying, like that type of thing where you you more of on some – like I'm rebelling against the system for a bigger cause to, you know what I'm saying? Fight for oppressed people. Mm -hmm. Or you can look at it as this, the actual textbook definition of a thug, you know what I'm saying? A person that comes to like destroy, steal, ravage, you know, and that's pretty much what a thug would do in that sense. So like if a kid is trying to be that, then that's exactly what you're seeing. You're seeing kids that are trying to be thugs. I think the gang element is there because it's cool now to be a gang banger. So like you got people that's like never even thought about joining the gang that are now like finding and seeking out 
game. It's not like you grew up with it or it was like a part of your upbringing or it was a part of something that, you know, like something that was like there like organically happening. It's like, hmm, all right. I want to get on. I need some attention. Hey, let me go find me some Bloods, Crips, insert gang here and say, I'm going to go find them and let me go try to be one of them. What do I need to do? I need to pay. I need to, what do I need to do? I just need this clout. So, and then I think that if you look at 80% of these young people, they're not the ones doing the shit. It's just like the regular population. It's 20% of them that are gangsters for real, that are thugs for real, that are really like, I don't care. I'm going Mm -hmm. all out every day just because. And then the rest of them are really just a bunch of dudes that get caught up in that shit because basically they... They do all the cool thug shit that looks cool to some dummy online. Like, oh, look, look, he going out bad. Look, he going hard. Yeah, they ain't fucking with him because, you know, he doing it. He got that, he got the thing on. He got that Draco. But then when they start shooting, now you got to back up all of that shit that you've been talking these past six months that then got you all this attention online. So I think the culture of like, it's like, Back in the day, the dude that did that would be corny. He gets in the way. Now, because of social media and the internet, it's so many people not from that them these kids' hoods that's boosting their head up that don't really know the real them to like check them so much. Mm-hmm. And once the kid gets a certain amount of fame, <coughs> anybody that is checking them is looked at as a hater. Or the people mm-hmm. that would normally check them start trying to just go mm-hmm. along with the program because now this person got this little cloud or this attention. So they like, well, let me give me some off of it. So it's like with the killing, I, th- I think that goes back to like, it, it all stems from the internet itself. Like the fact that they're on social media, it puts more pressure on situations. Like it's the same situations that we would have, but they're all like, exacerbated and trumped up because the kids don't have no off switch no more. It's no like it's nothing to cut that shit off. Like mama would be like, man, keep your ass in the house. These kids can be in the house and still going along with whatever the narrative is even in the house. So it's like it's no way to really turn it off and the internet is so permeating through our culture like it's parents that really believe that they can't not have their kids can't not have their phone yeah. they look at that as a necessity just because of the way they've been socialized so I, I think it just goes back to like the way internet culture is it makes situations that normally would have been a fight or may not have even got to the point where it got physical because it's not stopping it's no off switch it's no I go home and then we people forget about it or like we don't see each other for a few days and that shit could blow over. It's even when I'm not seeing it, it's a hundred people liking and commenting on this situation. So when you wake up, if no, you stop cooling down, now you upset again. Yeah. They the back up. oh, That's my take. It's like it's like um, you have a potential million person following just for doing stupid shit. Yeah, it's like it's the what did Paul Mooney used to say? Um, Paul Mooney used to say, Everybody want to be a nigga till you got to be a nigga. And that's the same thing with this. shit. Everybody, wanna oh, be yeah, a nigga. everybody wants the perks of looking gangster and being a street nigga, looking tough. If you gotta try to get all the chicks and all that other stuff, till somebody else that wants that same club test you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> video oh, yeah, the in the back of the head, <clears throat> but not like one video thing is the hell out of somebody else. In, in my <laughs> mind, um, in, in my mind, I was always thought you know, thug is the random shooter, the random shooter person that's just out there. He, he ain't mm-hmm. affiliated with nobody. We're not against. He's just right. out there. And he's just he's just that. acting amongst being an agent of chaos, do whatever the fuck you want. Sucks. 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 
until he actually gets recruited by some gangsters. And then that whole process starts. Yeah. And that's the thing. That's the thing, too. Uh, I don't think it's so much the label. Because, like, a gang, like, the gangsters are wilding, the thugs are wilding. People of all ilks are wilding, trying to do things to get themselves seen. In a world where it's so easy to be seen, people are feeling more unseen than ever. I think that's why you have mental health issues rising in the younger age groups. I think that's why you have, like, a lot of them struggling with, like, basic communication skills. Like, it's sad, but, like, there's groups of kids that have genuinely not dealt with anything other than constantly being pressured by the Internet, whether that be forced to look a certain way, forced to have a certain shoe, forced to have a certain outfit, forced to be with a certain type of girl, forced to have a certain type of car, forced to have a certain type of lifestyle, forced to, like, and not forced by somebody putting a gun in their head, but, like, more just, like, mm-hmm. society pressures. Like pressure, they grow with, pressure. The way they're socialized is, like, these things are what matters. And if you don't have these things or you're not doing these things, you <laughs> cannot access life. You can't access the good stuff in life. Whereas we grew up looking at it like be treat people with respect, work hard, um, be smart about who you say something to because it may be an immediate consequence for the way you say certain things. Um, learn how to communicate well so that your point gets across because you're going to be talking to people a lot. Like, that's how we grew up. So our set of skills, like, we still got in the shit but their shit turns into a shooting because our shit, we might have been able to just, hey, man, look, I know I ain't going to see you for, the, for another two weeks. We're going to either fight or we ain't. We're going to either do whatever right now or we ain't. With them, they might see each other three, four times, but the internet build up, be the ramp up yeah. a whole year and a half, and then finally, I snap when I see you. Or finally, when we do fight, I can't handle even taking a loss. So if if it looks like it's going down where I'm losing, <clears throat> we got to shoot now because now I, I got to back up all that bravado and I can't take that loss because the thought of me going back to the internet and having people look at me as a sucker is worse than the thought of me dying. It's worse than the thought of me going to jail for life. I'd rather be in jail for life with a hit song and Look at me, or I'd be I'd rather be in jail for life and all the niggas in the hood know me and I'm the man. As opposed to just Fuck taking all that shit. All niggas I, like I niggas too much. <laughs> I, I never wanted to be the coolest nigga in the crowd because I look back all the cool niggas is doing shit they didn't want to have to do when they got older. You said the coolest niggas in the crowd back then is either dead and gone or trying to recover from their bullshit what they did when they was the coolest nigga. I mean, be a fucking square. It ain't that bad, man. I, I understand being a youth and your reputation and that's my name and this, this is my block. But at the end of the day, that's not your block. Nope. And if you want to get deeper, that ain't your name. But that's a different conversation. But don't be out here dying for a block that your mama renting her her space on you feel me y'all over here dying for blocks y'all claiming that y'all written y'all written on ain't no ownership that ain't yours because as long as you dead and gone somebody else gonna come and say the same thing live to see another day your life is more important 10 seconds can lead you to 25 years of a hard shit Ten seconds is all it takes. Even less than that to pull a trigger and kill someone. Please. Youth. Old folks. Anybody listen. Love yourselves more than to let a few seconds cause you 25 to life. That's true. Yeah, man. I got a, I got a controversial take on this. Like, all right, um, do we? 
I feel like society fo- focus too much on the youth. I feel like it's so much of a camera lens on the youth so much or being youthful or just the the idea of youth so much or whatever that it actually puts extra pressure on the youth or whatever. Like it, it, it's almost wow. like See what I'm not, not to say fuck them kids, but you know what I'm saying? Like I feel you, but if we don't focus on the kids, you gotta remember the kids the kids are the future. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. so we gotta look at it. If this generation that's right now growing up kills themselves out, what what, what is the next generation going to be? You feel me? It, 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 it's self preservation. Look at West 100. He's doing this out there, patty patty for clout. It's all for the same shit. He just ain't killed. You mm. know so, what? Um, it's like it, this shit. Yeah, I was dumb saying, young nigga telling me dumb old niggas. Um, not not to say not focus on them as far as development, but as like everything seems to be focused on youth, even things that shouldn't be focused on youth, like marketing, advertisement, just anything that's sold out there, the lifestyle, even the lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Just everything is just focused on this is going to make you youthful or young or whatnot. I'm like, there's not really a focus on, you know, just uh, staying focused, going to course and growing up and being older and achieving things as an older person. Like, there's not really a focus on that. It's like, it's like, if it is, it's more like, this is the celebrity that has the, the big ass house and he owns this, that, and the third. But like, as far as like the regular everyday person or whatever, that's, you know, it's not really a focus on that. Like that's I, true. Oh, so so like with that, that comes down to like for one, thinking the way a young person thinks, but then for two, just thinking the way humans think in this day and age of instant gratification. The average person yeah. won't even invest <clears throat> in certain types of stock funds. Like you can invest in the S and P five hundred, let that shit sit for thirty years, and you will make off. 10 to 15 times better than any other investments you could be making. But most people won't do that because it don't sound as sexy as investing in Bitcoin and trying to flip it in, you know, a couple of weeks you make however many thousand dollars. So, like, it's the way we're wired at this point. Like, we're wired to get something quickly. So, like, we'll Uh invest a little bit of time, but not that much time. So, like, the average daily life don't look sexy to the average young person. It don't look sexy to be coming home to the same wife, kind of doing the same. Like, if you think about what the average, real, healthy life is like, it's not boring, but it's boring. Yeah, no, it's sexy to me. Like, you... And if you got kids, if you don't have kids, you're hanging out with your wife. Like, now there's exceptions to the rule where you got people that all they do is travel and all that, but those are exceptions to the rule. The average person making a decent salary, not they rich, not they balling, but just the average person. Mm-hmm. Decent power. Mm-hmm. If you look at what that healthy lifestyle looks like, it doesn't look <coughs> exciting. Now, it's going to be way more gratifying because you're going to end up probably ending up able to travel so you're going to still get to do some cool shit probably some cooler shit than you would if you was doing the other lifestyle but it don't sound as fun it don't sound as yeah. fun and a thug out here ripping and running the streets and you know you know yeah these girls out here having a hot girl summer man you know we pushing that pee you know what i mean it, it don't sound as cool as all of these little trendy titles because it's not as cool mm-hmm. grown, sh- grown shit ain't necessarily cool Grown shit can be seen as cool, but grown shit ain't done to be cool. Grown shit is done to handle grown shit. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, like, it's really just a mentality of, like, there's a lot of adults that are that don't have adult mentality. Now, the teenagers, they're influenced by them same adults. But when mama and daddy don't have a, an adult mentality, where's the child learning it? They're now teaching each other 
mentality and still learning from those adults that don't have it because they're still learning by osmosis. They're watching it. They're just soaking up those mannerisms and behaviors. So it's like, you know, it is what it is, man. It's just a circle. It's just a bunch of people that should be having more common sense, but it's nobody to really teach that because common sense don't look cool. So when you talk common sense now, you get seen as an old hater. Like it goes back to that conversation we was having about hate. Like True. everything you say that goes against the norm or goes against what everybody is pushing right now because it feels good and it makes you a part of the <clears throat> crowd, you're gonna be seen as hating. So when you are speaking sense or when you are talking something like, hey man. I know you think that that gangster life's out of school, but this is what it's going to lead to. They don't care about that because literally in their minds, it's gotten to the point where, yeah, I hear you on that longevity shit, but I'm about to hit a million followers off this, or I'm going to get the girl off of this, or I'm going to have all the dudes in the hood respect me now off of this, and they're going to, they gonna, you know what I'm saying, know my name, and I'm going to be the dude everybody's talking about. It's literally simple as that. True. Real life has become True. it's starting to be lived like internet life. The way young people and people in general are starting to just move, operate, behave, and socialize in real world, everyday, like face-to-face -face interactions is becoming and following the same patterns and behaviors of online behavior. It's just you're not looking at the phone in that moment. But it feels the same. If you talk to a lot of young people, especially that grow up in this new generation, like the conversation feels like you're talking to somebody on social media. It's like real staccato. Yeah. They don't break in and say nothing. It's, it's like, okay, you type first and I type first. And it's real short little bits they hit you with. It's like these little clips of, for sure. Like these little, it's like they speaking in catchphrases almost. Yeah, yeah. That is true. That's scary. My hope is that it, it goes in a circle though, and, and shit, gets, <laughs> shit reaches that critical mass of like it's so fucked up and weird and shit is so stupid that like the generation after them be like, we ain't gonna do none of that. That's dumb. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like each generation kind of rebels against the, 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 like each group of generations kind of rebels against the group before them. So I feel like a lot of us on the back to college movement, let's get your education, let's work real hard, let's chase the quote unquote American dream, let's, you know what I'm saying, do all of that. Like, I feel like a lot of our generation under us kind of rebelled against that. So we're seeing a lot of this, like, I don't care about the future. It started with the YOLO. That, that was like the, the turning point of like, okay, we are now at a point where like that's the that's the mantra and it never really yeah. stopped they just stopped using that term but the general lifestyle of like phrase. party rocking in the high. it just uh, let's turn up let's take pills let's get fucked up all day let's numb ourselves to real world problems anything going on for real let's numb it away with some drink or some syrup or some pills or something else and let's just party and if it's not a turn up then it ain't fun and mm -hmm. Everything has to be posted because we got to make sure that we were seen doing the thing. So we don't even really care about actually doing the thing. We just need a picture showing that we were doing the thing. So we don't have to actually ever bowl. We just have to be at the bowling alley holding the bowling ball, doing a pose, and then we're done. Social media is literally the promoter with a few people at the club taking a picture and making it seem like it's a lot of people at the club. And it don't turn off. The kids don't turn it off. Like, the kids are addicted to it. So, like, it's so ingrained into their everyday life. They're afraid. It's a a mental fear, like a withdrawal thing physically for them to, like, let go of those devices. Unless you have a child that you are already teaching to be normalized and not be relying on them. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's not the Damn, we're not know to me. Because my goddamn kids already know. That damn cell phone, fuck that shit, fuck that shit. My oldest, man, fuck that. I make sure ain't no internet nowhere near you. You see, I got some internet. You go, you have even more. Cause I make sure I turn the internet off. You, you, 
you, you with your phone on click? Nope. You can play games. That's about all you can do. That's about all you can do around me is play games on your phone. Make sure you know that shit ain't that important. This is a tool. Isn't it? Go on side. Go. On. You got a big ass front yard and the back yard. Go on. All y'all go on. Take your ass is somewhere. Right. Mm. I didn't have the luxury of having these screens blowing up. It's a luxury. Oh, but people in that day see it as a necessity. You lights come on. If you come back, <laughs> in, in, so you better not have no fun out there and need to come in and get water up here. Nothing. You better do mm-hmm. everything out there because you come in here, you're done. You know, in and out of my house. These motherfucking, mm-hmm. these motherfucking tablets and phones is not a necessity for these kids. It's a luxury. You know why it's not a necessity? Because most motherfuckers, I, I don't think I know nobody with a cell phone. From my age, when I was a young kid, you feel me? Now this kid's six, seven years old, walk around with iPhones and shit. What the hell do you need to do? Just in case of an emergency. What's the emergency? You going to school and then your people just picking you up. And they got phones at the mm-hmm. school. They can call your parent if it's an emergency. It, 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 what you get your phone in the class for? And then that leads to other problems. Now your kids distracted their class because they can't stop being on their phone. No, but but really Johnny needs his phone. Yeah, Johnny yeah. needs his phone in class just in case he has an emergency. Because Johnny may not be feeling good. That's what the teacher there for. There's always a piece of technology that some generation is addicted to. Now it's our phones. Um, after yeah. it, it was like laptops. Well, I mean, Before like- that, it was TVs. I wonder if people were addicted to radio. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, they were. There were, there were people that were yeah. out all day and just listen to the different shows and shit. And if they missed, oh, show, mm-hmm. yeah, because I remember the movies where they'd be like, "Oh, we got to make it there to the house on time at by six o'clock." Because blah blah blah, DJ whatever show come on or whatever. I see on those old sixty shows. Wolf game. It's always there. something. Once people had a form of, but see that's the thing though. Even with radio. The addiction never got that bad because things used to turn off. The internet, social media, that doesn't no. off. Like, as long as you have a connection somewhere, you can keep on going. You can scroll and scroll or watch and watch or type and type and never stop if you don't really want to. There's no way like, uh, yeah, to go there. Yeah, I remember when the TV stations used to turn this go off. Exactly. Exactly. The damn national anthem. Dun, 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 or you get static. Dun, 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 dun. One of the songs. Either Rainbow Bars in the booth or it was static. Yep. But you didn't get right. nothing else. Whatever else you thought you was going to watch, that shit was done. Fuck you. It's midnight. Go to sleep. Unless Not it was the, the weekend. They take that shit to like maybe four. You need to bring that four. shit back. They let you get like a Saturday Night Live and then a movie after Saturday Night Live or some uh, Twilight. They should bring that shit back, man. They should bring it back. It make my job a lot easier. I don't have a whole bunch of people calling in until the cycle completely shuts down to the point where like everything resets, where like this whole civilization crashes because so much is invested in everything. Everything is ingrained in everybody's daily life. There's some people who can't even be real without the internet right now at this very moment. There's some people that if the internet shut down for three weeks, they can't access none of their bread. So when you have shit like that, it's like then you have how do you shut down certain things? You shut down social media, but then you're going to have them arguing, well, we're just as vital to everyday life as a bank. And then you're going to have the banks arguing about that. And then you're going to have this group arguing. You're going to have that group arguing. They're going to spend so much time arguing and shit's still going to be going on and we're still going to be more and more ingrained. So it's just, you know, it, it's one of the things we got to live with it. But I think doing stuff like what we're doing now, like when you have kids, teaching your kids how to do both, like teaching them how to be proficient in the skills of technology because they're going to need those heavily but also teaching them how to be reliant on not having those things so they can function without it so if the internet does go down they're not mentally affected if they turn their phone in at school at the beginning of the day it doesn't send them on a weird rampage the rest of the day because they can't type 
and TikTok or do whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm just be DJ, maybe <clears throat> Sound like a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of stuff that people are going to call on my phone at work about to complain about. So I really don't care. You going to trouble you? Told y'all. When I get rich, I'm getting my island. It's going to be me, just me, me and my giant robot. Nobody else. Population one, uno. Uno, uno it'll be two, man. Watch your be two. Hey, you and your giant two. robot. Would, would the giant robot be a citizen? No, no, because in, oh, in, no. in, in San Juan, Puerto Rico, we don't, <laughs> we don't believe in artificial intelligence. Okay. Bad one. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All the many ways I be trying to flip my name. Bad <laughs> one was, I was saying like it stinks. <laughs> I don't know why, but that shit was hilarious. That was just that nigga got good comedic timing on roasting. Yeah. What you on, just say on, 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 man, you, you're funny. It smell like you're funny, dude. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make it some shit, but as soon as I find out what it would get is, I'm like, man. This is the oh, greatest dude. fragrance in the world. Greatest after I smoke. You already got a tough crowd. Had one musk. Well, it's just a little it's bit catchy. of musk with a little bit of cinnamon in it. It's a little bit of cinnamon, musk, uh, and <laughs> cannabis extra. A little bit of cinnamon and <laughs> musk. That sounds like, sound like it's going to make me sneeze. Sounds like, <laughs> sound like an animal pelt. <laughs> And a little bit of cannabis extract. The out there attracting flies. Mm-hmm. That I said. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't get the flies on that point. Jesus Christ. Funky donkey. And going Smell back like to flowers and cool water. Don't do shit that make you think. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> Don't do stuff. Like he said donkeys make you do shit that make you think. I didn't. I said going back to our show. They got removed. Don't do shit that make you stink. It ain't that. Oh, yeah. it, uh, I found out it's still on Facebook. Well, all right. Start yeah, chopping Facebook. You're weird enough to let you try it. Thank you, Zuckerberg. Oh, yeah. For right now, at least. Yeah, for the next couple of days till they catch on to the algorithm. Like, oh, mm-hmm. I know. Uh, I knew we were pushing. I, knew, I, knew, I had a feeling that was going to be. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I tell you what you can. Nah. Do. Y'all can make sure that y'all catch our next live show on our YouTube page. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And make sure that we got time to actually do it and make sure we had the resources to do it. Donate, motherfucker. So support us. Cash out. Dollar sign. Pardon the tears one. Cash out. Dollar sign. Pardon the tears one. Or if you want to make it easy on yourself, you can go to buymeacoffee.com backslash the partners and donate there for as little as one dollar. Or you can go straight to our website, <laughs> thepartners.com, and donate right on there with a click of a button. And if you want to support and give us donate. money, but you also want some back for your money, face, donate. how can they get it? Hey, y'all can go to partrayclothing.com. Once again, rtreclothing.com. I'll spell it for you. A-R-T-R-E clothing.com. Never spell clothing for you. A-R-T-R-E clothing.com. Spring gear out now. New short sleeves. Uh, shorts about to come up. Uh, we already got hats out there. Uh, shop. Only place to get your official partner's merchandise. Only place to get your ACA free merchandise. Come check us out. Artreyclothing.com. And you spell clothing. Clothing. your merch, and you want to holler at your boys, and you know, just <clears throat> communicate and talk to us, and shit with us. Give us tips. Give us uh, feedback. Give us topics for the show, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 
Pat, how can they holler at your boy? At sign T H E P O D N A S. That's at sign T H E P O D N A S. And that is the Twitter, the TikTok, the Instagram. I missed one. Did we have the Twitch too? Facebook. And um, I thought it was another one before Facebook. But we also have Facebook. Twitch. To his face, Pat, all the parts. So, hey, we everywhere, motherfuckers. Let's just be real. We everywhere. Look us up. Google us, nigga. Um, and like I said before, man, if you can't remember all that shit we just said, just go straight to thepartners.com where you can access the store, donations. You can access the podcast, donations. latest episodes. You can access uh, videos from the YouTube page, etc., etc. Holler at us. Thepartners.com. And there's another show in the books, man. Episode 70 fucking five, y'all. 25 more to the big century mark, man. Three, four, Make sure you help us. We're on the road to 100 episodes. We're on the road to 1,000 subs. Help us to get there by making sure you do your part and like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the damn button and the bell now. Easy thing. And then make sure you share this. You got somebody else that you think you know has a sim- similar sensibility to you? Share the content. It hurts. You. It, it it costs you nothing, but it helps us tremendously. And as always, man, we love y'all, motherfuckers. And I have been hey. one third of the partners. It's your boy Tiz, and I've been along with. I just happen to be another third of the partners. I'm also known as the Padawan, amongst other things that people would probably call me in the street, but. That's no neither here or there. And I'm along with Dragon. Peace. Peace out. We about this thing, y'all. It's been another week. And we about this thing. And motherfuckers, we ending the show before midnight. That's two weeks in a row. We on a fucking roll, y'all. Love y'all, motherfuckers, man. Peace out, motherfucker. That nigga had a titty on his arm. No, he had a dick on his arm. Hey, y'all. I'll be out here flashing. He's bringing him up again. Yeah.